Good morning, this is in Shaman Oracle reading and today I'm reading for Cancer, Leo and Virgo. This reading now is for Leo. Welcome Leo. Your cards, they came out so we can start with the Moon and Stars Tarot. First card is Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles relates to perseverance, reward, <clears throat> and investment. And the meaning of the card is vision. This card asks you to be patient and to continue down your path. Watch what you have sowed as the nurture you show to all your projects will pay off and be worth the wait. Things may seem stagnant or stuck now, but a time for movement and a sense of accomplishment is coming. Don't force anything to do with the time or money, as this may jeopardize the outcome. Work with what you have around you and try to focus on something else. There is a moon message. The finishing line is straight ahead. Stay patient and it will be worth it in the end. The second card that came out is the High Priestess. And... The High Priestess has keywords like truth, wisdom, divine light, knowledge, harmony, and spirituality. And this card relates to your inner voice. The High Priestess, she signifies the power of knowledge, divine truth, and trust represented by the three stages of the moon on her crown, while the scroll within her hands is a sign of her great wisdom. As she sits on the earth, she looks upon it with severity and mercy. The full moon shines brightly above her head, highlighting her blessings and feminine wisdom. You may find others asking you for guidance or equally you may sense the urge to reach out to someone with strong intuition. The High Priestess asks you to reflect on decisions but also reminds you to trust and believe in your own intuition and to gather all the facts. This card signifies purity and celibacy in love, but alternately you can, it can be a symbol of a loss of self, secrets and hidden agendas. There is a star message, listen to my intuition and trust in yourself, says the High Priestess. And the moon magic affirmation is, I trust my inner voice. The wisdom of the oracle card that came out is called come to the edge. And the meaning is courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear, and accepting some risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take a risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilarating exhilarating you get ready for a leap of faith spirit is present so let go of fear 
you are called to express your true self, listen to your heart and soul and not to your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. There is a relationship message. It's scary to be truly intimate with someone, to allow him or her to see all of you, especially the parts that you have kept hidden and protected. But now is the time to take that risk and let yourself be seen, truly seen. It is important that you speak up, voice what you need, state who you are and say what you hope for. This is not a time to play it safe, but to take a leap of faith. You will be glad you did. And if you are seeking a relationship, the same applies. Take one step toward the gods and they will deliver, deliver what you truly desire. There is a prosperity message. If ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now. And if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you are going for. The essence is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could imagine. So take that step. The results will be amazing. There is a protection message. Fear is leading the way into places you don't need to go. Most of what you fear at the moment is an illusion stemming from an old belief that isn't even true. Now is it time for courage. You will not be lost at sea. You will not watch everyone else get what you want while you are left alone and unloved. Oh, that drama of it all. False evidence appearing real is hovering over you. And the more you dwell on fear, the more real it will become. So ask yourself, Leo, who in me is afraid? Love that part of you and ask, is this true and real right now? And the answer most likely is no. Give yourself a hug. It's okay to be scared. Courage must be summoned in spite of your fear, even when you are not feeling confident. Spirit will always catch you. The quantum oracle card is called conflict. And the conflict relates to unrest. And this is an event card. This deck has different suits assigned to the cards like consciousness, energy, intention, people, events, spirit, and cycle. And this card is an event card. A boat is being tossed around on a stormy sea and a sailor is trying to keep it afloat. This represents an upcoming situation or one you are going through at this time. It may come in the form of a conflict with another person which may manifest in ongoing agitation or even open hostilities. This could also signify someone in your life 
who is thoughtless or dismissive of you, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a co-worker, it's very unsettling and you are not sure how to resolve it. Is there a difficult situation going on in your daily life? Perhaps your workload has increased to stressful levels. Perhaps a family member is ill or acting out. You are lost at sea in the middle of a storm you can't control and high emotions they are tossing around you. You may have to step outside this conflict to regain tranquility in your life. Some of the unrest could be within yourself. Are you making a situation worse through an attitude of fear and powerlessness? You must stand in your power and take steps to create a calmer approach. So express what you need to express and vent your feelings in your journal. Make decisions that honor you and consciously create some joy each day. The storm will pass and you will be floating on a peaceful sea again. Say this affirmation, Leo. I live in my power. I speak up and take action for myself. I choose courage and confidence in every situation. Say again, I live in my power. I speak up and take action for myself. I choose courage and confidence in every situation. Last time, I live in my power. I speak up and take action for myself. I choose courage and confidence in every situation. Last card is Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle and the card is Playful. There is a cat on the card playing and enjoying life and the goddess says to you, my child, life is not always so serious. Choosing this symbol means it's time to lighten up and be playful. No matter what you are asking about, this is the time to have a sense of humor. Smile and go do something fun. Life has a way of answering all questions when you are not looking. Wouldn't it be better if you were enjoying your life rather than just sitting around waiting for what you want to happen? Don't take yourself so seriously. It is time to lighten up and be playful. Know that when this symbol appears in your life, the fun is about to start. So Leo... Do as the cat does on this card. Play and have some fun. That was your reading, Leo. I wish you a wonderful day. Enjoy today and enjoy the week. Take care and goodbye.